Chen from LPU ICI. Hi everyone, I'm Chef Reese, I'm the Director of the International Culinary Institute of Lyceum the Philippines, Davao. And this is The OG, OG Takes, Takes by LPU Davao. Notice, guys, we have a lot of foods right here, so you know what that means. We are going to do mukbang today. Is this a mukbang challenge? Yes, of course, the mukbang challenge, chef. So, are you ready? Yeah, and I think I can finish my food as well. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, as they said, if you're a chef, you also love to eat. Correct. I do love to. What do? You, uh, what are we going to do? Um, Just eating? Oh uh, well, of course. Apart from eating, I'll be asking questions. Okay. And well, this is going to be a question and answer. Is this, um, uh, is this a culinary math question? <laughs> well, uh, we'll see. It's all right, a surprise, all right, all right. Surprise all right, question. Sure. Uh, let's start with the first question. Are you ready, Chef? Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. What are the programs of ICI and their differences? All right. So uh, we actually we offer three programs of at ICI or the International Culinary Institute. So we have this one-year course, the Advanced Diploma. We also have this um, six-month course. So if you combine these two six-month course, this is the one-year program actually. So the one-year program that includes culinary and pastry and bakery. The six months only culinary, that focus only culinary, and the other six months that focus only pastry and bakery. Wow, that is really interesting. <laughs> I know that um, at this time well, there are a lot of uh, in store for our upcoming uh, students or anyone who might be interested in enrolling to ICI. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm taking the uh, one year course, so it's uh, culinary and pastry arts. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, Chef Grace is our head, and we're very much excited to go back to the kitchen. We're the uh, part of the first batch of the ICI program, so. I enrolled the way back um, November 2019. We started our classes in February of 2020 last year. They are actually our first batch. So the pioneering batch of our International Culinary Institute here in Davao. Though we already have uh, a lot of uh, graduates from different LPU campuses from Manila, but for Davao since we opened 2019, so we are actually our first batch. Oh. And yeah, of course, we're very much excited to to like um, take our OJP as well mm -hmm. and really experience. What, where, where do you plan to, to take up your OJPs? Well, I um, really plan to go uh, to the US, you know, American Dream. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's going to be a good experience as well. Uh, let's proceed with the second question. Um, traits or attitudes that will help you survive an ICR in the industry? For the culinary industry, you need to have a perseverance or a determination, okay, for you to survive. You know, uh, becoming a chef is not that really easy. You, it needs, it will require you a long standing hours at the kitchen. We, we actually don't have a chairs in the kitchen, huh? so it will require you a lot of time to stand and um, patience as well. And sometimes, you know, in the kitchen, it, not all the kitchen that has um, an AC or an air conditioning. So there are also kitchens, like very hot kitchen. So if you have the, the perseverance and the determination, so that means to say you will really have the passion to finish and fulfill your dreams of becoming a culinary or a chef. Especially the one working in other countries, like the one working in cruise line and um, hotels. Of course, um, as a student, Myself, I have already experienced um, when we had our kitchen. Yeah. Like, whole day you have to just um, stand up and, yeah, you, since it's your dream, you have that burning desire and you yes. don't think of that, um, even if it will uh, soar your feet, but yeah. of course you can think that because you love what you're doing. So I think, I think that's the key word there. You, you love what you are doing. And that will make you, you know, focus and you know, the passion is really a burning passion. Yeah, you also have that um, attitude for being open because when when you're in a culinary, well, of course, it's free. Like you just don't uh, settle for like a specific ingredient or a specific um, cooking uh, technique. So you can uh, you explore. Explore. You can explore. Yes. Uh, yes. You, you, you can
can really like you're you don't just limit yourself from what's indicated in the uh, menu or like the, the recipe. Yes, that's true. Uh, yes, I that was kind of. Okay, let's cook. Alright, so. So before I'm going to ask this question, can you have a toast of our pizza? Pizza toast? Pizza toast? Cheers! You know what I remember in my pastry class? We had this um, bread making and we made a pizza and it was really a great pizza because uh, we use fresh herbs. It's a fresh herbs garden pizza. The crust is so crispy, and I just so love it. And I was just a student at that time. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting, Shasha. What was your What's your favorite um, pizza topping? Oh, I actually love vegetable pizza. Oh, there is some shirts, but can you share it to me later? Yes, What's I can, I can. <laughs> and we'll put some basil, wow. crushed tomato, dill. Oh my god. The freshness of the herbs. It's really amazing. Really yes, like yes. mouth watering. Yes. All right. So, okay. I have a question. Okay. Should get nervous or should it get says here that all chefs do is cook. That's all. Well, I don't really believe that because chef is not just limited to cooking. Well, you can have your own business. You can be an entrepreneur, and aside from that, you can as well go to uh, research, mm -hmm. or if you wanted to. Uh, go to food technology, you can do that as well. And aside from that, you can be a an instructor if you wanted to to, to yeah, share. Just like me. Yeah. I used and to be an instructor yeah. before and now I become a director. Yeah. Okay, so we can do a lot of things. What we actually eat in, in the restaurant is also a product of um, a hard work and also a, a a product of a skills of a of a chef, you know, we combine tastes, we combine senses. So as a chef, we don't actually only use our sense of taste, but we also use it, the sense of smell. Okay, we, we smell the different herbs and spices, and then we picture out and combine it all together and put it in the plate, and that becomes the dishes. Ah. Okay, so can we have another question? Okay, let's do this. It says here, if you want an easy college program, Go for short courses in culinary. Oh, well, what I have right now, what I have enrolled, it's uh, culinary and, well, that's the best uh, course that I chose. And for me, no other than culinary. So, actually, um, it always depends on your passion, okay? So, if you have the passion, if you have a burning passion in the kitchen, like if you wanted to bake or if you wanted to cook, well, this is the best. Actually, this is the best short courses for you because this is not only just a course, but it will give you a career. A career of becoming a chef, a career of becoming an entrepreneurship, having your own restaurant and running your own hotel. So this is the first step for you to achieve your goals or uh, dreams in life if you wanted to to do a hospitality career, okay? ah. you know, running a business, running a restaurant. So, uh, if you wanted to go on a short course and you have you have plan or you have a plan that putting up your own restaurant someday, uh, I would suggest that you have to go to the International Culinary Institute here in Lyce of the Philippines University because we just don't teach you how to cook. We also teach you the kitchen management skills the restaurant management skills and the entrepreneurial management skills that you would be needing when you run a business. Ah. Right, Sheila? Yes, definitely. I agree, Chef. So it's a complete package when you enroll here in LPU ICI Of program. course, this is not just a cooking school, but this is more in a management side as well. All right. And yeah, just to share to you, Chef, well, um, I was actually checking my Facebook uh, memories and I actually noticed that uh, 10 years ago I was making a status that I wanted to take this course and okay. it's really great that LPU started this here in the bow and um, that's why I grabbed that when I saw that ad in Facebook so I don't have any second thought of enrolling to this course. Ah. That's right, that's right. Even when we um, experience this pandemic thing, but uh, you know, we have this online class, uh, the online lecture class, but 
that would hinder us not to learn something for culinary, right? I mean, can, can you share? Can you share your experience for, for your online lecture class? Um, yes, uh, we had just completed all our lecture class and it's not just limited to, to theories and um, technicalities of the kitchen. And well, we had as well, our, um, we're given the chance to make our own soup mm -hmm. when we had our um, class. And aside from that, like how are you going to cook the egg, we mm -hmm. had that. And yeah, it's not just limited to, to the, the classes that we take. Mm -hmm. We also have that idea to uh, have our own business while we don't have our uh, physical or face-to-face -face classes. That's right. So we don't only give a, a lecture or online class, but we also do face-to-face -face class soon, right? Yes, so I can't wait for that chat to be done. Says here that if you want an easy college program, so the word easy. So actually, as I said a while ago, Culinary is not really that easy, right? As I said, you know, it will require you a long standing. Okay, there's no chairs inside the kitchen. You sometimes smell like onions or oil. <laughs> you know, um, and uh, it will not just require your skills, but it will also require your mental and your physical. Okay, so it's not really that easy to become a chef. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Chef. It's really, um, it, like, you would really have to prepare yourself. Yeah. You, if you have that, if you are armed with that burning desire, and yeah, you just, um, it's not easy, but it's definitely worth it. Yeah, especially the time uh, pressure. Oh my God. If your chef will tell you to prepare this dishes in like 15 minutes, we have to prepare it in 15 minutes. So there's time pressure. There's a long standing, there's a skilled job, and uh, your mental. So it's it's not really that easy to become a chef, you know. Uh, there are a lot of people who just who really wanted to be called a chef, but it will, you know, it will require you a lot of experience for you to become and to be called as a chef, right? Wow. Or to be what? And I would be very proud if you, if one day you will be wearing your toque. Yes, I can. culinary when you wear the the toque or you experience the toque ceremony that is the symbolism of you uh, being a chef now or a legit chef I really look forward for that yeah yeah actually so our last question okay chefs know how to cook every type of cuisine well um no because okay um as a chef uh well you you might know you have an idea but you 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 can specialize um chefs were specialized in a certain um cuisine like uh, western or asian ah. yeah, you, you you yeah actually not all chefs knows everything or all types of cuisine but for you to enroll in a culinary you will learn all the basics Okay, so meaning to say you can easily read the content or the meaning of its procedures and, and, and its uh, ingredients in a, in a recipe book. Ah. Meaning to say, uh, uh, it's, for example, if it says that you will be uh, uh, at start you have to do your mise en place. So if when you encounter the word mise en place, that is not just an ordinary uh, word, but it's an, a word that is normally or an ordinary to a culinarian okay so meaning to say if you studied culinary you already know the basic ah. and if you know the basic you can easily read its content of its procedures and ingredients and each recipes and you can easily you know make the cuisine that you wanted to to make okay did, did you, did you yes, yeah. chef, i agree with that yes actually just like i'm not really sure on how to make any Indian food, all right? Ah. But if I saw a recipe of an Indian food recipe, I can easily execute it because I know uh, the meaning of it. We, we actually have a culinary language, mm. you know? We understand each other if you are, uh, if you enroll in a culinary, you can easily understand each other because we have the same language. 
So that's 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 one thing. We can we, we don't know how to cook everything, but we can easily execute the food that we wanted to cook. It's because we know the basic. Ah. That's the very important thing. We know the basic. The five basic sauces. What are those? Well, uh, five basic sauces. We have a bechamel. Uh, we have the tomato. We have as well the velouté. Yeah, velouté yeah. and spagnole. Yeah. And uh, the fifth one is Hollandaise. Uh, <laughs> Hollandaise. Yeah, Hollandaise. Yes. Alright. Yeah. So it will lead us to be back to school and be refreshed when yes. you get back to school. Um, the basic sauces and then you can just combine it and you can create secondary sauces. Correct. And oh. that is more mostly applicable in each cuisine. So do you have any question? Oh uh, yes. Chef, I'm very much curious with what uh, cuisine do you really like? You know that you really master the, the dishes. Uh, I think I I I I I focus more on Asian cuisine. Okay, when you say Asian cuisine, it's Thai cuisine, it's Japanese cuisine, uh, Chinese cuisine. So that's I really wanted to to, to cook or to to do in the kitchen. Ah. Maybe because we have very close palate since we are all Asians. Okay, so. I love doing that. And I love to travel as well, just like you. You love, you yes, love to travel. It's right? really nice to travel and experience the food that they have. Yes. And you know, that's one, one reason why I love my career. That's the one reason why I love my career because you just don't just eat or cook, but you also have the chance to travel because you wanted to really try the authentic food of each county. Yeah. Ah. So, you know, when, when, once when I was in China, I just really saw this is. This is how they prepare this. But uh, if you prepare this in a Filipino way, it's a different, right? So that's why I always study authentic cuisine. Mm -hmm. So I go to Japan to study authentic Japanese cuisine. I went to Malaysia, I went to Singapore, to China, just to study all the... I even went to Thailand and stayed there for one month in Mandarin Oriental, and just to learn the authentic Thai cuisine. And I am so in love with uh, the Thai cuisine, you know, the spiciness, yeah, sweet. the, the sweetness. It's really, really very close to the, our palate. Oh. Yeah. All right, so I hope to see you one day, uh, you know, yes, we'll sure. travel together in the Yeah, yes. so we can enjoy and <laughs> yeah. the... Explore the culinary. Yeah, and one good thing for the culinary is, so we also have this uh, Asian tour. Uh -huh. But it's just that it's all pending because of the Pandemic, but we are going to have a cruise, right? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah to, to, to get to experience a different cuisine in different county. So that's part of the course path that we are going to take when you have a culinary or if you enroll in ICI or the International Culinary Institute. Just one last thing, Chef. I saw on your Facebook post that you uh, went to Korea to teach. Uh, what was the like? How was your experience? Oh, well, actually, it's it's. I was an exchange professor. It was an exchange professor program. So, uh, I you know the fact that I'm from Lyceum of the Philippines, Laguna, and uh, our our president uh, sent me there to experience being an international professor and to handle international student. Okay, so I was there for one year, and it was really an awesome experience. You know, you get to learn to to experience different cultures and traditions, as well, ah. especially to Koreans. I, I have experienced the, the four seasons, I mean the, the spring, the autumn, the winter, the winter and yeah. it was it was really an, an experience that, you know, an unforgettable experience. So. Ah. It's like you're working and you're on a vacation. Actually, yes. <laughs> and if you enroll in the International Culinary Institute, we also have this international internship wherein you can uh, get your one year internship in US or in Europe or six months experience or internship in Asia, in Thailand or in Phuket. So up to you to choose where your OJT venue. Everyone who's watching right now, well, you should not have any second thought of enrolling to ICI LPU Davao. For those who wanted to become a chef someday, so I would love to be uh, like Sea of the Philippines, Davao would love to be part of your career and develop your skills for you to become a professional chef someday.
Well, thank you so much for your time today, Chef. Um, I have really learned a lot. You know what? Most of the time, we just keep on talking. We forget about the bang challenge. Yeah, so, Wait, Chef. I think it's time for us to eat okay. first. Okay, go. And then maybe we just put this one here. Yes, so, our side. Anyway. We're done with our Q&A. So, ayan na. Mukbang na tayo. Mukbang okay. challenge. Okay, this is chicken. <laughs> this is chicken. This is chicken. This is funny. This is chicken. A few moments later. Oh, we're already running out of time. As much as we're doing. Uh, one no, no, I'm actually going to finish this after this thing. Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And okay. Alright, so. Can I bring it home, You can. Actually, ah. you can bring it home. Okay, anyway, so I'm uh, Chef Grace uh, Martinez, your ICI Culinary Director here in LPU or the Lyceum of the Philippines University, Davao. And, and this is my student. Yes, I am Sheila and I am one of the students from the LPU ICI program. And this is OG Cakes by LPU Duval. Thank you!